From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Thursday, March 31st, 2022. I'm D. Ray Knight. This is what's going on. Here is the latest on the war in Ukraine. Ukraine's president says his country's defense against the Russian invasion is at a turning point. He again pressed the United States for more help, hours after the Kremlin forces reneged on a pledge to scale back some of their operations. Russian bombardment of areas around Kiev and the northern city of Cherniev, along with intensified attacks elsewhere in the country, further undermined hopes for progress towards ending the bloody conflict. The head of the Ukrainian delegation to talks aimed at ending the war said negotiations were set to resume Friday by video. In news closer to home, details surrounding South Dakota Attorney General Jason Roundsburg's fatal crash with a pedestrian in 2020 were revealed publicly as the legislature released unredacted parts of the crash investigation. They provide a fresh look at the minutes surrounding the crash, but leave unanswered how Roundsburg could not have seen the man he struck. Nearly 200 files in the crash and impeachment investigations were posted online Wednesday, allowing a public examination of the investigation for the first time since the September 2020 crash. A House impeachment committee has recommended that Roundsburg not be impeached. The South Dakota Board of Regents has decided to freeze university tuition, Amy Rose explains. The South Dakota Board of Regents has agreed to freeze tuition at the state's six public universities. The move comes after lawmakers increased base funding for the university system by more than $8.6 million in the session that ended earlier this month. The money is meant to cover raises for university workers as part of an overall plan to increase salaries for state employees by 6%. Previously, the state covered less than half of the salary and benefit package for employees in the university system. That forced higher education leaders to raise dollars to pay for tuition, fees, and other charges. Four Rapid City men have been sentenced in federal court for their connections to a large-scale drug trafficking operation. Michael Cole, 31, Melvin Corbine, 44, and Anthony Larson, 40, all of Rapid City, and Eric Yaki, 36 of Blackhawk, were sentenced last month by U.S. District Judge Jeffrey Viken. U.S. State's Attorney Ron Parsons reported that a total of 37 people were federally indicted with drug-related offenses. The charges alleged the defendants conspired with each other to bring multiple pounds of methamphetamine into western South Dakota in 2019 and 2020. In national and international news, President Joe Biden is preparing to order the release of up to 1 million barrels of oil per day from the nation's Strategic Petroleum Reserve in a bid to control energy prices. That's according to two people familiar with the decision who spoke on the condition of anonymity. Prices have spiked in the U.S. and allies have imposed steep sanctions on Russia over the invasion of Ukraine. The announcement could come today when the White House says Biden intends to speak about plans to combat rising gas prices. The markets reacted quickly to the likely oil release, with crude oil prices dropping 6% to $101 a barrel. Ukrainians living in the U.S. are mobilizing to help refugees from the war in Ukraine. Amy Rose has more. Ukrainians already living in the United States are working through formal and informal networks to provide housing, food, and a sense of community to as many as 100,000 refugees expected to arrive in the country. Sacramento is among those preparing for an influx of new residents, given the region's already high concentration of Ukrainians. Agencies involved in the formal resettlement process have few details so far about when and where Ukrainians will begin arriving, though some are already coming over the southern border or on visas that will expire. Churches are mobilizing members to serve as host families, and since the war began, over 4 million people are estimated to have fled Ukraine. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences said that Will Smith was asked to leave Sunday's Oscars after hitting Chris Rock, but refused. Many have questioned why Smith was allowed to remain seated in the front row of the Academy Awards after the incident. The Academy's Board of Governors met Wednesday to initiate disciplinary proceedings against Smith for violations against the group's standards of conduct. The Academy said Smith has the opportunity to defend himself in a written response before the board meets again on April 18th. The Academy said disciplinary action for Smith could include suspension, expulsion, or other sanctions. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Partly sunny with a high of 56. Tonight, light snow possible after midnight and a low of 32. And that was your Daily Slice for Thursday, March 31st, 2022. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group, hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose and Chrissy Davies. Executive producer Mark Houston, engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.